Man, you know it's hoodie season. You already know what time it is, man. MGT with the douche, your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you knew, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, up, sideways matrix algorithms. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. First of all, I got a lot to say. Secondly, I miss y'all, bro. And I know, and you know what's so funny? This is just an SR update, you feel me? I'm just, you know, just hollering at y'all, you know what I'm saying? Continuing the journey as usual, per usual, whether I'm dropping a video or not. But compared to other YouTubers, they usually take four or five days to actually post a video every week. You know, here on this channel, I'm, I, I drop a video every day. You see what I'm saying? But I was like, you know what? Let me take some time to myself. As much as I as I wanted to, you know, just drop impromptu videos, I was like, let me just vibe, you feel me? Now, I'm not going to lie, man. I've been waiting. I've been being patient. I've been, uh, you know, I've been trying to, like, align things, get things going in my direction. And I got some good news, you feel me? A lot of my shadow work and everything, and mind you, by the way, I'm not even going to hold you. It's levels, bro. Every streak is not the same. You know what I'm saying? So it's levels to like every, like whatever you're doing, there's always going to be some type of lesson that you're going to learn. There's going to be some type of lesson about you that is like, oh shit, I didn't know I had this problem. Now I got to work on this problem. Okay. So this time around for me, I was able to get some shadow work done and it was difficult, bro. It was difficult. I'm not going to lie. I had to have times where I really just locked myself in the room, you know, just for like, you know, whether it's like me getting back to, you know, my internal world or me, you know, taking myself out the matrix or, you know, whatever kind of like uh, I would say prior obligations that wasn't really aligned with my specific goals right now. I had to take a step back from it and it hurt. It hurt like a motherfucker, bro. It hurt. It really did hurt. But you know what? I understand, you know, um, everything happens for a reason, number one. And on the journey, bro, regardless, man, you got, it just, there's going to be some things that you're going to get acquired to. You're going to get used to. You're going to be like, okay, whether it's friends, family, certain family members, you know what I'm saying, doing stuff for you. Not all the time where your friends and family will be there for you, man. At some point in time, you have to go within the darkness and you got to look at yourself. You got to sit with your soul and, you know, you got to really do the shadow work. You got to ask yourself, what do you really want? I say this in a lot of my videos, you feel me? So on this time around, as far as this streak is concerned, man, I'm not going to lie, bro. The shit, it just felt like hell, bro. It just felt like hell because I'm taking care of what I got to do, you know, as far as like spiritually is concerned, but bro, it just felt like, it just felt like, bro, I got a story to tell, man. I got like, I, I wanna, this is why I wanted to take my time with this video, but I, I at least had to holler at y'all this morning. A lot of stuff happened to you, boy, you feel me? Um, But for the most part, I'm here, I'm back, I'm better. Uh, You know, I feel reborn, you know what I'm saying? I feel, happy dog you know what i'm saying am i satisfied hell no i'm not satisfied you feel me but i understand you know i have made certain ties with certain individuals and as far as the spiritual journey goes this is the part of the spiritual journey where it's gonna like suck it's gonna suck bad it's gonna suck but it's about to get lit right after but you having to you know, take yourself out of a situation in order to better your situation overall is key. So for example, I know some people, they love to smoke weed. I love to use weed as an example. If you know that, yeah, you love to smoke weed. Yeah, it's cool for you and everything. But if you know you need to get to the next level, man, you gotta take a break. You gotta take a step back from it. And I know you love it. That's probably one of your first loves. You see what I'm saying? You got to take a step back and understand what who you truly are. Because when you take a step back, bro, from whether it's weed, whether it's social media, 
You feel me? Because I'm not going to lie. Like, even, even me with social media, especially with Facebook and shit, I be super active on it. Like, I realize, like, if y'all ever go on my Facebook page, do not take none of my, my, my posts seriously. The reason why is because I realize that with me and information and words and stuff, I just love to share words and shit. You feel me? I love to share different quotes and stuff, and I like to make people laugh. But some people, they be taking my uh, uh, statuses way too seriously and shit. You feel me? That's what happens, dog. If you are on retention type shit and you're really doing what you got to do, your words hit different. Everything hits different. Your text messages, everything hits different. Okay? So you got to realize how powerful you really are. And then also, you have to realize not to abuse your power. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like with me, to, an certain, to a certain extent, I was abusing my power. You know, because I knew I had the creative energy to, you know, just get people to laugh and get people, you know what I'm saying? And then when you're talking about dealing with somebody that you talk to, now she's feeling some type of way because, you know, you're outside entertaining these females or online entertaining these females. And this happens a lot. You feel me? We living in a day and age of like information and all that. You feel me? And social media. This is why I like to take a step back from social media, take a step back from everything and realign myself. I have to get reborn again. You feel me? One thing I should say, bro, is whenever the journey gets a little rough or whatever it is, dog, number one, don't ever let nobody see you with your head down. Okay? Don't ever let nobody see, even if life is a struggle, don't ever let nobody see that. You feel me? And I'm not trying to say like, oh, you know, hide your feelings and shit like that. But I'm not going to lie. A lot of people are going through the same shit that you're probably going through. Men, women, children, too. You may never know what ch uh, kids are going through nowadays. They be having new forms of depression. How are you six years old and you depressed? Make it make sense. That's crazy. But you never know. We living in a different time and different age. But when you are down and out type shit, it's okay. Put yourself back up, bro. You are the only person that will be able to do that. You are the only person that is the true source to, 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 to happiness. Don't put your happiness and your expectations on things and people. I subconsciously slipped into doing that. You feel me? I'm here on a spiritual journey. You feel me? And, you know, there was somebody that I attracted in my life. And subconsciously, I put my expectations of happiness upon her type shit granted we are you know we do energy exchange and then there's a lot of like uncomfortable conversations that we have to help each other grow but at the same time i kind of you know that was my fault you feel me i took my eye off the ball i was like you know what yeah she's helping me spiritually now she's my peace now she's my everything because the, the and then the thing about it the red flag about that is that once i do that now whenever she you know happens to go through something emotionally or she has a problem with something that i have done whether i did it maliciously or not now boom if she's not happy with me now like it's affecting me why because i have put that expectation of oh well if she's happy then i'm happy you see why i say shadow work is so important i'm over here you know talking about this shit you feel me teaching it and shit and i still fucked up <laughs> okay i still fucked up Cause I'm human, you feel me? And it's gonna happen. And it's gonna happen on this journey from time to time. So with that being said, what do we learn from this little conversation? Cause I wanna talk about, bro, crazy shit happened to me, dog. I really can't wait to tell y'all. I gotta tell you about how I got pulled over. Man, that I'm gonna I'm say that for, you know, a later video, bro. That shit was, it was actually kind of funny, bro. It was a lot of random shit that happened. I'm thinking like, damn, what the fuck you know what i'm saying but what i learned from all this i learned that at the end of the day no one is gonna wake you up excuse me that was random i had to take a sneeze i had to sneeze just now but like i said at the end of the day no one's gonna be there to be like hey get up and motivate yourself you have to be the one to motivate yourself bro you can't wait until i drop a video to be to feel motivated I know some people, they probably is like, damn, when is Moody going to drop another video? Or, you know, yeah, I got a thousand videos. So if y'all ain't go check out some of my older videos, then you know what I'm saying? You know, it, real MGT OGs, y'all know what's up. 
But yeah, all I'm saying is from all it is, bro, put yourself first. Don't ever put your expectations and your happiness on the matrix or food or weed or women especially if you are in that state of still working on yourself building building up your realm of reality um and then just try to be try to be as clear as possible you know when you are talking to women and shit like that just let them know hey i like you such and such they probably they probably may want a, a full-blown relationship and if you're really not ready for that just let her know you know what i'm saying and um sometimes women don't listen though they be like man okay i hear that and then they still try to pursue and then later down the line they kind of like end up hurting themselves so i would say just make sure you're crystal clear with what you say but you can only do so much as a human being okay after you done said what you said do what you do you know continue your journey regardless because i pro this is why a lot of this is why the red pill community exists this is why you know, a lot of guys, you know, my most viewed videos are about women. And the reason why it's about women, because like real deal, every single day, there's a guy going through a situation with a situation with a, with a girl or whatnot, trying to figure out what to do, how to, you know, go about and be like, hey, you know, she's not t t uh, texting me. Can I, what can I do to, you know what I'm saying, get her back? See, that's a common this is a common like problem that happens every day. Not in just America, nigga, all around the world too. You feel me? This is why talking about women and shit like that, y'all be like, oh, the female attraction, female attraction. It's like, nigga, how did you get into this realm of reality? Right? Did you, you had to be conceived and you know what I'm saying? You was swimming in your daddy's balls and then boom, got into your mama's womb and then boom, you came here to, 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 to do what you needed to do. It's natural. You, you see what I'm saying? But here on this journey, bro, this is why I say shadow work, working on your inter internal world, making sure you are good from within, making sure your internal world is matching your outer world. You feel me? Even if it's going to take some time, you feel me? Uh, put yourself first. Always keep yourself happy, bro. Or I would even say keep yourself happy, but always be the source to allow yourself to be happy. Don't don't rely on just, you know what I'm saying, different people and motivations and shit like that. You're going to get disappointed. You're going to get hurt. Not all the time. a human, And that's what I'm saying, bro. Even if shit is not working out with whoever you might be talking to, it's not even her maliciously doing that shit to you. When it's time to do shadow work, whether it's your girl, whether it's your mama, whether it's your brother, whether it's your daddy, whether it's your sister, they all need time to themselves. You cannot sit here and be like, man... You supposed to be my brother. You supposed to be my daddy. Why the fuck you did it da da da? How about you open your mind and understand like everybody's going through something, bro? Did y'all see what's going on with the whole? I think it was a uh, two retrogrades that was going on. Hella celebrities are breaking up. Hella celebrities are calling it quits. You feel me? Young Jeezy is breaking up with uh, his wife, um, and then a couple other people I can't remember right now. But I seen a post say like it's funny how everybody is like breaking up now. Like what the fuck is going on? But you know what that means though, honestly. You got to get back to yourself. You got to do this shadow work. You got to make sure you are good from within. Period. Because this 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 is a beautiful the what not nah, fuck that. It's a beautiful fucked up sideways ass matrix. It hit different. Every day is not going to be exactly the same. At the end of the day, you came in this world by yourself. Nigga, you're going to leave out this world by yourself. You might probably have some friends and family members that you make memories with and shit like that. That's cool. But at the end of the day, if you can't pick yourself off the pick yourself up off the ground, who else, who else is going to do it for you? You see what I'm saying? Y'all got y'all water? Man, I can't wait till I tell y'all about the... This shit happened... When I got pulled over, this shit happened maybe five days ago. Funniest shit ever. Funniest shit ever, bro. I ain't gonna hold it. Yeah, make sure y'all drinking y'all water, bro. Do what you gotta do. Uh, the past week, again, dog, I ain't getting no rewards for being on the street. That's just, it's whack, ain't it? Sometimes it's whack. You be doing the shadow work and you, you, you reborn yourself and then you get to another level and then it's just like, why ain't nobody, 
around to be like, hey, good job, bro. You did it. You did it. You feel me? So it's weird as hell, dog. So I just be like, why do I do this? And I, and when I think about it, I just think about my future. I think about how I'm struggling right now as far as just getting through the matrix. And one thing I'm going to say, what's going on? One thing I'm going to say before I go is uh, as far as you doing what you got to do, you have to understand that like, um, damn, it was something I was going to say. Buddy just kind of threw me off a little bit, but like, shit what was i gonna say you know i'm gonna just save it for the next video but uh make sure y'all doing what you got to do like i said man it's be your boy movie star I'm about to end the video for today like share comment down below drop a bang on the cash app to support the team um damn i really was gonna say something you gotta come through this side sir yeah yeah i was gonna right. say if i spray on it all right